Hello everyone. This week, we're going to be talking about Harry Potter again. So with the new Fantastic Beasts movie coming out soon, and with it taking place in France, we have to ask ourselves, how do the French pronounce spells? So in the first movie, we see Hermione teaching Ron how to pronounce Leviosa. Leviosa versus Leviosa. And what she's actually trying to explain there is that Latin never places the emphasis on the last syllable of a word. And all the Harry Potter spells seem to have a Latin-ish kind of root. But in Goblet of Fire, we have the Triwizard Tournament, which brings together people from other countries. Now, interestingly, we never actually see, at least to my recollection, any of the foreign students say any spells. And I have to believe that's intentional. Because if something like Leviosa versus Leviosa can make a spell work versus not work, I kind of wonder how accents factor in to the effectiveness of people from other places with other accents to cast certain spells. Even in the Fantastic Beast movie, we see an American accent, and it doesn't sound that terribly different. So I have to wonder how much of a role does pronunciation actually play in the wizard's ability to cast a spell. Now, of course, there's nonverbal spells in Harry Potter. Maybe that's what we're gonna do here. But another piece of evidence that we have access to are the dubs from other languages. We actually do see that they try to keep the pronunciation of the spells relatively the same. In some cases, we see them change the conjugation of it so that it works better with the language of the rest of the movie. And we also see variations in spelling so that when you're reading the subtitles, you can actually read it with the correct sound in that language. But overall, it does seem that the pronunciation actually does matter. A and I know, th this is a video about spells in Harry Potter. There are no rules, it's fantasy, I get it. But I do find it interesting to see what the rules are in that universe and how consistently they're applied, because it's a continuity thing, and I like that. So really, what is the thing that makes the magic happen? We know it's not the wand, because we've been told that the wands are basically like an antenna for focusing that energy? Is it the idea of the spell, as in nonverbal spells? Well, probably not, because they do have to think about the words as they're trying to do it. So is it some sort of psychic thing? Is it the idea of those words that is the thing? And particularly in the books, we see them have to think about other things besides the words in order to make certain spells work. In the movies, the best example we get of this is the Expected Patronum, where Harry has to think of a really happy thought so that he can channel it to make a Patronus to protect against the Dementors, which makes perfect sense. Insofar as magic makes sense. You know what I'm saying. So this might be the first time we're actually going to get to see foreign people, besides Americans, cast spells and see whether the accent has any impact at all. Personally, I think they're going to fly a little fast and loose with this. I think they're going to get the pronunciation relatively close, and it's going to be okay. But it will be interesting, at least to me, dorks like me who like linguistics and Harry Potter. So, there it is. And that's all for this video. I'll be back again next week with another video that I hope you'll find interesting. Until then, stay curious.